Hi, I'm Carl Taylor. Welcome to this week's episode of Fix the Photo, uh, where the images are sourced from our members' entries into our weekly challenges on Carl Taylor Education. This challenge was rim lighting, and you can see the entries that we received in here. Uh, I'm going to select one image to do a little bit of work on just to make a few adjustments and see if I can improve the image further. Let's take a look. So I have this image from Anthony Knight and I absolutely love this image. The, the lighting has been crafted really, really well. The colour of the image has worked absolutely beautifully. Uh, looks like some either post-production coloration or gels may have been used, but the lighting is really well controlled. I'd be quite um, pleased with this image myself. Uh, so there isn't a great deal that I'm going to do to the image, but there's just a few minor tweaks that I think could offer some improvement. Now those minor tweaks revolve actually just around shaping and using the liquify tool. So I'm just going to duplicate the layer. I'm going to go into filter, liquify, and what I'm going to look at here is, first of all, just the uh, lady's uh, head and hair. I'm just going to reshape just a little bit more rounded at the top here. And then I'm going to make this um, sort of traditional hairstyle, um, Asian sort of hair bun, just a little bit more bun shaped, if you know what I mean, just to bring it a little bit more pronounced. And I think these minor adjustments. Now I'm only doing this very rough, of course, if we were gonna do this properly, we would have to add uh, another level of uh, detail on that. Now, if we just flick that on and off, you'll see the difference that's made in just making that shape a little bit more pronounced and making the image a little bit stronger for it. Uh, the next thing is that the lady's got her arms going behind her back. They look a little bit sort of contorted to me and a little bit forced maybe. So I'm just gonna see if I can relax the shoulders a little bit with the liquify command as well. So I'm just going to duplicate that layer, go back into liquify. Now this one's not going to be easy because they're in quite a difficult position, but I'm gonna bend, pull the shoulder back a little bit on that side to try and allow me to move the arms down a little bit straighter. So it can still be that the hands are behind the back, but it looks like that maybe they're just going down a little bit straighter. I'm gonna put a tiny bit more curve in the neck there as well. And I'm just gonna to have to look at this with sort of fresh eyes in a second. Let me just give this a little bit more tweaking here. Now I think just by pulling the shoulder back slightly and making the arms drop down slightly more vertically just makes it feel a little bit less abrupt on the eye. I'm going to merge that layer down. Let's flip between. That's what we had before and that's where we are now. I'm not 100% sure about the arms, whether I've got them in the right position, but they certainly don't look quite right as they were, but definitely the improvement on the hair and the head was worthwhile. There's not a great deal else we can do with the image because the lighting is already really good. We could probably spend a little bit of time in burn and dodge and dodge up some of the darker shadows in the fabric. We don't want to lose them completely because they, they are what defines the silkiness of the fabric, which, which works really well. But we could probably just take those down a little bit. You know what, let's just try and do that anyway while we're here. So let's uh, make a selection, a rough selection of just this one to begin with, that patch. Make that selection with a five pixel feather. We'll get a curves adjustment layer. And let's just see if we can pull the shadow end up a little bit. We can. Takes on a little bit of a red hue in pulling it up. I'm not sure that's a bad thing, but let's just take a look at the reds. We can pull the red down on that if we want to. Let's flick that. Yeah, that's, so, so you see that still retains the silkiness feel, but it takes out some of the darkness from there. So I'm going to move in and select another area that's similar. 
and we'll do the same again. Curves adjustment, pull that area up again. It's a little bit of pinkiness appeared into the lighting in there. So we can go to the red part and we can pull the red down a little bit to neutralize that. Let's flick that one on and off. So that tones that down a little bit. And you could continue to work your way around other areas where you've got these sort of slightly too dark patches, if you like. Let's select some multiple ones at the same time here. So we'll take that, that one. That darker area here. Maybe this darker area here. This one probably doesn't need as much under there. I think it could possibly reduce this one a little bit as well. We will take a new adjustment layer. Now, of course, you could do these all individually for a finer level of control, but uh, I just want to speed things up a little bit. So I'm pulling the curves, the shadow end of the curves up here a little bit. I'm going to pull up the mid-tones slightly as well in anticipation that I'm going to take the reds down slightly in the mid-tones just to bring those back into cyan. Now, if we take the combination of those layers and I put them in a folder, uh, so essentially those are burn and dodge layers, but if we flick them on and off, there's the darker and there's the lighter. And with the lighter, I prefer it. It's just less disruption in the image and in the fabric. The ripples still look glossy in keeping with the silk fabric, but overall the impression of the shot is less aggressive, less harsh. So let's take that image and put it into... Oops, no, we don't want to do that. So let's turn those two layers off. That's the original and there's the tweaked version. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fix the Photo. If you'd like to enter our weekly challenges, our photo critiques, or our photography brief challenges, head over to Carl Taylor Education. Thanks very much for watching.